Welcome into the bunker of General Gridiron, Bill Marshall of Football Forecasting. We're about to map out the way this college football weekend is going to go. Will your favorite team be marching to victory, or will the enemy be taking your battle flag? The college football season is really getting heated up during this week three wild ride. So grab your helmet and man those battle stations. We're ready for another round of General Gridiron's football foretelling. Oklahoma State at Pittsburgh. Know any good mullet jokes? Cowboy coach Mike Gundy is looking more like Joe Dirt these days, but his Stillwater Wranglers have looked anything but a blast from the 80s. Sandlapper gunslinger Mason Rudolph has already set school passing yard stats, and he aims to buffet those numbers with a nice showing in the catch-up palace. The Panthers want to rebound from two lackluster performances to start the season, getting walloped by their in-state rival in Happy Valley last weekend. The bad news for Pitt is just like David Spade's movie. They'll be looking for a family member or anyone to hug when this contest concludes. The Generals' victor, Oklahoma State. Tennessee at Florida. Can the Vols make it two in a row? It was the early 2000s when Big Orange last won back-to-back, and that includes their last road win at the Swamp. 2003's 24-10 triumph fueled by Casey Clawson's 48-yard ricochet to James Banks. Rumors now on Rocky Top include Quentin Dormady trying his own hand at ricochet and pigskins, just in case that's needed to pull off the W. Old Albert and the Swamp Lizards are still fuming about the fourth quarter collapse in the Smokies last year, and one thing's for sure, Gator Nation will be studying up this week on physics and how to bat down a ball and not let Lady Luck bounce into the hated orange's grass. The Generals, Victor, Florida. Texas at USC. The Coliseum has seen its share of big events since opening in 1923. Olympics, the original home of the Dodgers, the Rams, and the Men of Troy, of course. Saturday's Donnie Brook at the Grand Old Lady won't be put on the top shelf, and that's because the big steers have been steering off course the last decade. The horns got snapped by a Maryland turtle in week one, and now Tom Herman's got to get his young bunch of bovines ready for the bright lights of Tinseltown. The Trojans know that a win over Texas is needed to keep them looking like a real contender for playoff participation, and no horde of hookums is going to make Traveler gallop down the wrong freeway. The Generals' victor, Southern Cal. Kansas State at Vanderbilt. Yes, Bill Snyder is still the head man at K-State. The 77-year-old has taken the Manhattan felines to heights unseen during his 26 years at the helm, and why head to the retirement home when you're coming off seven straight bowl trips? The Music City Mariners could learn a thing or two about stability and success from the skipper on the opposite sideline. To VU's credit, they did make it to the postseason in 2016, and behind Kyle Shermer's arm, the fighting Corneliuses could be a lot better than expected this season. Will whippersnapper Derek Mason show everyone he ain't no rookie coach and outsmart the septuagenarian? The Doors will escape the September stormy seas with a big win. The Generals' victor, Vanderbilt. LSU at Mississippi State. Coach O returns to Davis Wade Stadium. As a first-time head coach, Orgeron's tenure at Ole Miss ended after three years in 2007 when he got greedy and cost the Rebels a chance to win and keep the sly cream-led bullies from bowling. Ten years later, the fiery Cajun leads his Bayou boys back to the scene of the crime and for a little red beans and revenge. The cowbell clingers still smile about that sun-soaked day when the Coach O dynasty in Oxford came crashing down, and they'd love to start another trend at his new mailing address. But LSU is first class, and Coach O's old team is parcel post. Look for the number 12 Tigers to come out roaring and not let up. The Generals' victor, LSU. Still to come on this week's college football forecast, ACC powers Clemson and Louisville tangle on the shores of the Ohio. Plus, three-letter rivals TCU and SMU get together in Fort Worth, and neither wants to suffer their first L of the year. Keep it here. General Gridiron will be right back. Because you want more flavor, at Nukes we marinate and grill to perfection. Because you want the latest culinary tastes and trends, we never rest. At Nukes, great food drives us. So we are meticulous in our preparation, obsessed with the quality of our ingredients, and uncompromising about serving you our very best. We believe that sharing a memorable meal is one of life's ultimate pleasures. Join us at Nuke's Eatery. (laughs) 
Howdy, soldiers. This is General Gridiron back with you. Each week, this incredible football forecast is heard on some of the finest radio stations all over the land, including the Dove 1620 in the Palmetto State's capital city and the home of the Gamecocks, Columbia, South Carolina, and WWIC AM 1050 in Scottsboro, Alabama, Jackson County's home for Scottsboro Wildcats Radio and the Alabama Crimson Tide. We appreciate all of our radio affiliates. Now, let's get back into the football fight. Ole Miss at California. In a scheduling head-scratcher, Field General Shea Patterson and the Confederates of Mississippi ride west to the left coast to take on one of the most liberal universities in the land. Well, okay. Cal is looking like General Sherman's army thus far, whooping up on the Tar Heels at their own grits and gravy home. Justin Wilcox has his troops ready to ambush another sweet tea loving school. And the Johnny Rebs will be the perfect candidate for target practice at Strawberry Canyon during this Saturday night shellacking. The General's victor, Cal. SMU at TCU. The iron skillet battle is renewed, and unlike most years, these two Metroplexers are much improved this year. The Frogs hold a 49-40 with seven ties lead in the series and have won five straight over the Ponies. But SMU's Cortland Sutton is a horse of another color. The junior wideout from Brenham, Texas, picked up AAC honors last week with his playmaking, and he'd love to show the folks inside Hell's Half Acre that Chad Morris has got something cooking in his third season in Big D. But the visored one, Gary Patterson, ain't gonna let a bunch of equine elitists come over to Cowtown and get a win. After the piggy pulverizing in week two, the 2-0 and Toads appear to be back on track to gridiron greatness. The Generals, Victor, TCU. Kentucky at South Carolina. Don't take Gamecock wide receiver Debo Samuel to Walmart if you can help it. Why, you ask? Because his favorite part of the store is the returns counter. Two games and two 97-yard TD returns into the season. Number one in Garnet and Black is anxious to get back to his native South Carolina and play for the first time this season at Willie B. Can he punch his third kickoff return against the Commonwealth Kitties? The special teams of UK remains an enigma, but what's not a secret is head cat Mark Stoops has had the Cox number during his tenure, and his fellows can't wait to sit down with a nice plate of yard bird on Saturday night. However, Cocky's cooking up his own feast this week, and chicken ain't in the fixings. The General's victor, South Carolina. Arizona State at Texas Tech. A nice Pac-12, Big 12 extravaganza in lovely Lubbock will be what's going on here. Sparky's bringing his pitchfork to West Texas, and he's looking to reenact last season's win over Raider Red in Cactus Country. But if you'll recall, that September win almost broke the Sun Devil Stadium scoreboard. Devil 68, Raiders 55. That's a combined 123 points. I seriously doubt either team has spent the offseason working on defensive schemes to stop the other this year. The fans in red and black are growing impatient. They want their pretty boy play caller to start winning a bunch of games and get Tech back to the greatness it enjoyed a decade ago. For those gunslingers, they should be happy with this weekend's result. The Generals' victor, Texas Tech. Clemson at Louisville. Lamar Jackson got the Heisman, but the Clemson Tigers got the last laugh. Last year was uh, last year but you can't help but wonder if a guy in orange should have toted that trophy back home from New York. Lucky for Lamar, he's off to a great start in 2017. And he's got his sights on becoming only the second player ever to win the award twice. But once again, the South Carolina Cal College ain't all that worried about individual greatness. They are all in on a chance to repeat as beast of all the jungle, and a tough sojourn to the pizza box in front of a college game day frenzy will keep the Tiger on track. But hold your scooter. Bobby Petrino is looking for someone to ride shotgun Saturday night. The Generals victor, Louisville, in an upset over the number three Tigers. We've already looked at the weekend's biggest battles across the nation. But hang on to your helmet. There's more just around the corner. We'll be back in just a second to wrap up this week's General Gridiron with our rapid fire picks. This is General Gridiron back with you. We've already maneuvered through this week's Frontline College Football Showdowns. 
Now, it's time to fix those bayonets and storm the field with our rapid-fire football forecast. Michigan slows down Air Force. Texas A&M escapes again versus Louisiana Lafayette. Notre Dame gets lucky at Boston College. UCLA beats the Beal out of Memphis. Connecticut clobbers Virginia. Georgia out Bulldogs Samford. Missouri manages Purdue. Ohio State gets back against Army. Washington State traps Oregon State. NC State licks Furman. Oklahoma torpedoes Tulane. Alabama cooks Colorado State. Oregon wins at Wyoming. The Citadel bayonets ETSU. Stanford gets the road W at San Diego State. In the Bayou Bucket Classic, Houston steams Rice. Penn State embarrasses Georgia State. Richmond sneaks past Howard. Washington out canines Fresno State. And Virginia Tech sinks East Carolina's pirate ship. Well, troops, you can now put your swords back in their scabbard. We're all out of picks on this week three edition of General Gridiron. We'll be back again next week. Same General Gridiron time, same General Gridiron station. So don't forget to tune us in on the radio, Facebook, and on YouTube TV. And don't forget to tell your friends all about the show. Simply search for General Gridiron. This is John Rawl, the General of Gridiron Glory, thanking you for letting me be a part of your weekend. General Gridiron is a production of CRM Sports. For more, log on to crmsports.com. That'll be all, y'all.